Now we're back this time because I for didn't realize I wasn't recording. It wasn't my fault. It Wait. was the government's fault. Oh yeah, I'm recording. Okay, just one. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta go do the Saturnus key because it's Debella's, it's Daniela's story time. Yeah, we already beat Debbie. Yep. I just remembered because it's been a while since we recorded because work and I'm lazy. So, you worked and then you were lazy? Don't get cute with me, you fucking know what I mean. <laughs> yes, I got a job. I'm cracking my knuckles. I hope you hear it. Probably not. Then again, this mic's really good, so you probably do. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still sick. Not really. Not really, but I got this damn cough I can't get rid of. Oh yeah, the game's playing. No, I didn't forget, but... I still have it lowered because... I don't want the game audio being caught by the freaking capture device, well, Audacity, because Audacity likes to fuck up. In other words, Matt can hear it, I can't. And seeing that how I'm playing the game, that's probably more important. <laughs> oh, two player games are going to be fun. No, they're not, because we won't be doing those. Why? Because there's very few and in between. Are you saying my gaming skills are not up to par for the Cabana? No, I'm saying is that we have a lack of multiplayer. Hmm. This is not false. She's going in for it. She wants your anal crevice. Oh, crevasse. To sound fancy. No, actually, there's a huge difference between the two, apparently. Crevice and crevasse. Woman! I didn't know there was a difference, but apparently there's a huge difference. We tried to kill Fiona over a woman. Woman. A woman! You peeked at that. <laughs> wow. This mic's so good that it peaks out very low. So, no. You cannot use this mic for belting mad metal squeals into it. <laughs> you roar because you're dumb. Oh my god. You got it halfway just by doing the pig squeal. You know, maybe this is why people don't really watch our channel. Because we actually talk about stupid, irrelevant things. You mean like every channel? Okay, let's talk about, about the game. She's going to taste the soup. She's not going to be able to taste because she's a homunculus. She's incomplete. She needs womanhood hood to feel better. Fiona has mad shits. This is why we don't record. <laughs> Do you want me to Because that's what's happening. And we're forced to walk. Like I said, look, see? Mad shits. It's like eating Taco Bell, the bad Taco Bell. Actually, I think, yeah, well, we know. We know now, but. <laughs> the, there was a time where my brother was ignorant to Taco Bell, and I warned him. And, okay, Taco Bell has some good stuff on it. I'm not going to bash the whole menu. But... <laughs> What was it that you got that gave you, like, the major squints? I believe it was their nacho taco. <laughs> he got something, and he's like, oh, that was pretty good. And, it, like, instantly, like, an hour later, I don't feel so good. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> <coughs> Why does she have bloody fingal? Tips. I just realized that. Because she cuts herself. Because she's emo. Crawling in my skin. <laughs> and then we get banned for copyright. No, nope, that was less than like some odd seconds. Ah, <laughs> oh, nothing like a good grope to wake you up. 
The best part of waking up is a woman filling you up. <laughs> to some people, that would be great. Men and women. Yeah, sure. Just show your ass to her. <clears throat> you know, it's clear that she, you know, wants inside of you. Or what's inside of you. So, I'm pretty sure flaunting your oh, asset no, to her is sleep. the best thing ever. You know, with Debbie, he just probably wanted to hug you and pop your head off because you looked cute. Daniela's like, full-blown, I'm gonna fuck you and kill you. Well, probably the kill you part. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's some insertion going on. Either dead or alive. She's going in. She's Actually, go that's more Ricardo. <laughs> She's going in. She's going deep. That's more Ricardo. <clears throat> she she's feeling feeling her up. Well, no, hers is actually <laughs> ripping the womb out. Like I said, insertion. She's just taking something out with a glass shard. No one said that people's fetishes are sane. She's just crazy. It's a fetish. <sighs> <laughs> you do it better. It's do it. No. Do it. No. Yes. No. You me? only get one, and I'm saving it for Lorenzo. Okay. <laughs> then save it for the creepy George Lopez rapel. He does nothing like George <laughs> Lopez! <laughs> what?! <laughs> Remember when this channel used to have some form of decency? When? When you did solo stuff? It wasn't much, but there was some essence of it. <laughs> then you brought me... Was that a wise choice? Yeah. You're not a fighter. Yeah. Why? Probably a mistake. She drops stuff. Yeah. It's called baby making. Oh, I have. I no longer have items. As long as she doesn't drop the beat, we'll be fine. Man, I hate dub stuff. And no, don't tell me that. Oh, those good dubs. No, there is no good dubstep. And you should be ashamed for liking dubstep. All eight of you. <laughs> the death loop! Okay, in that state, she doesn't drop anything. Time to go. Yeah, seeing you. Poor little Fiona's having a heart attack right now. She'll live. I almost wanted to call her Eliza. Where the fuck did that name come from? I don't know. Come on. You're the deformed creep that brought that up. Fiona, yeah. calm down. Look at that. You just smacked the wall. That's okay. For some odd reason, for the longest time, I don't know why, I thought um, Fiona's name was Elizabeth. You have some yeah. fucked up ideas about names, don't you? I don't know why. I don't know if it was like the when I seen like the early, like early make of the game or something. Like her name was Elizabeth. Or no, it wasn't. It was still Fiona. I have no idea because I know this was supposed to be a clock tower game before they gutted the hell out of it. Like you were supposed to actually have a scissor man dude chase after you. It was gonna go from a good clock tower game and it became its own. Good IP. standalone. It's own IP. Which Capcom ignores! It's cleaning time now. Well, I think well, I think we know what happens when they finally take attention and let people uh, kick you in the butt. Uh, the butt is too strong. I don't know if they may remade this in like the sa the uh, fashion of like uh Resident Evil 7. Who? Can you imagine Sizzleman chasing after you in like that HD, like HDness? It would definitely be better than what we got. Oh hell yeah! I'm sorry, but the the new Clock Tower game. What the fuck, Nightcry? What <clears throat> the fuck happened? I mean, that was a fan-made game. No, it wasn't. It, it was, was done. It, no, that was an official game. Was it? Yeah, it was worked on by the people who did the Grudge, Silent Hill, and stuff. Yeah. What the fuck happened? Team Silent made, made that? 
There, there was a major party that was involved in that. And I watched Minx play it. Wait, was it Team Silent or was it like the American Chewie. team? It was done by a lot of Japanese people who did the grudge and stuff. And yeah, I so Team Silent. I guess! I don't know the team, alright? That's sad. Now I'm sad. And I'm sitting there going, what the fuck happened? Now I'm sad. One, they turned Scissor Man into Scissor Woman. Well, that's fine. And turned her into a Cthulian zombie. Uh, Cthulhu's all the rage? The gameplay is garbage! Yeah. Even for point and click standards. No. And I played the Fear Within. <laughs> no. Oh, no, 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 no. I take that back. I played Clock Tower 2. <laughs> I mean, I like point and click adventures. Um, Telltale Games, amazing point and click adventures. Oh, yes. Um, Day of the Tentacles, probably one of my all time favorite point and click adventure games, which we own on PlayStation 4 now, thanks to me. Um, uh, like, I do, I never played the Monkey Island games. Shoot me. But I heard they were really good. But I heard they were, like, really good. Uh, Discworld, another game I played and fucking love. Point and click adventure. You would actually like that. It deals with wizards. Um, watch a... I'm gonna name plug here. Watch Kakoski. I already named the Minx, so what the fuck do I care? Watch, um, Kakoski play it. Very good. Very good. If you like any old, like, old, like, PC games or old PlayStation games... All like just RPGs, like Dungeons and Dragons in general. Watch Kakatsuya. He's amazing. He's not. Uh, he's a very like calm, like subtle YouTuber, but because still. he is British. Well, Halloween's British, and Halloween's far from that. Well, Halloween is British, so that's also that's also what's going against him. <laughs> Minx is also British as well. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was wondering where the luminescent was. He's the classy British. <laughs> Come on. But yeah, good, a really good YouTuber. Look him up. Uh, another one. Halloween is another really good one. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody who watches us, Robert, like all like three people, <laughs> knows who we're talking about. Minx probably. Halloween maybe not so much. Hell. Keep I'm pretty sure people know Halloween more than they do Kakatsuke. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would assume that. There we go. <coughs> Heck, I didn't even know they had another one called called Clyco They did stuff with until recently. Well, not recently, but speaking about disappointing remakes or sequels or whatever, Shadow of the Eternals really needs to get off their ass. It's done. It's not being made. The um, the um, the sequel to uh. Eternal Darkness. So, yeah, that got a cease and desist. That's not being made. By the people who made the game. Well, see, it's a group of... It's the people that made the game, but it wasn't the owner of the game with them. Uh, and the owner of the game's like, no, stop. Don't do it. Well, the Cthulhu thing is... If I recall, the... H.P. Lovecraft stories are free, are public domain. Yes. Because the person in charge of the copyrights back then fucked up and didn't register his copyrights when Lovecraft his died. His great, great, great granddaughter who was left in charge of his works fucked up with the copyright claim and now the, the the public domain. Like, you can I have... I it was one of his friends. Was it one of his friends? I think it was. So it was like his grand... Oh, and, I need to check my plates real quick. <clears throat> yep, I got everything. And the boobs plate key, we still have the boobs. Either way, someone really close to him, or uh, his family, fucked up royally, and now you, that's why you have Cthulhu in, like, everything. That could arguably be why... The map. Be why... Um... The HP law is as well, Cthulhu. I'm gonna say this: only Cthulhu is well known. Um, 
I don't know. Apparently, John Carpenter did a, a Lovecraftian movie that was really good and had nothing to do with Cthulhu. I believe it was called In the Mouth of Madness. Yes. Very good. But uh, if I say... But I haven't seen it. Azura. Does anyone know who Azura is? Come on. Alright, Luminescent. Where are you? There you are. Oh, um... Or better yet, like, something that does, like, it, like um, Cthulhu, like, Lovecraft's well and doesn't have anything to do with, like, Cthulhu. Love, like, Eternal Darkness. There. Yes. Eternal Darkness has nothing to do with Cthulhu. It's Lovecraftian horrors. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. But, um, like, there's so many, like, aspects to Cthulhu horror. And, like, the only, the only things that people really know is Cthulhu. It's like, but what about the Scholars? Edmund, um, Alb uh, Dr. Wesk. Do you guys know who these guys are? I mean, they're really relevant in the Cthulian lore. Uh, like, summon the gods. I'm pretty sure you guys know what a Shagoth is. Again, that- What about the Elder things? Uh, the other things might be, um, um, spy, um, spintra, a spintra, a Before you correct me on the pronunciation, I, there is no pro proper pronunciation for the Cthulian names. The, the spider lady that is said to give birth to Cthulhu, if, um, he is to ever fall. She is the daughter of Cthulhu, and, um... The goat, which I would not say his name. The black goat. Mm -hmm. I'll just leave it at that. Very offensive. We I'll uh, have to censor half of his name. Uh, seventeen twenty one. Sub sub <laughs> Yes, <laughs> that's gonna be sub beef off. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <coughs> Let's just put it this way: racism was very it was the norm during H.P. Lovecraft's time. Um, so it was back then when black people still couldn't do anything. So yeah, that was the the, the norm. I mean, speaking about that time, like it did bring one thing that was cool. What? Remember, um, King of the Zombies? Yes. But um, y yeah, like. I don't think people, like, yeah, people know the image of Cthulhu, yeah, people know, know what, you know, Cthulhu stand for and all that, but there is, like, Cthulhu's only a minor, like, little sub-note. Do we still have Luminescence, or is he actually going psycho? Like, Cthulhu is a little sub-note in, like, the, um, HP, like, lore. You, you want, like, I have all of H.P. Lovecraft's works. Okay, Daniela's here. We can wake her up for a fire, to have her get a fire poker, but we're not going to do that because it kind of makes one cutscene completely obsolete. Ah. Uh. So we're just going to stick with that. She oh. can continue having the glass shard. Now, with this puzzle, we have to find the things in here that are different. And readjust them. One is the chess piece. You can royally fuck up and get a horrible ending where you're eaten alive by Jupiter bugs. So gas bugs? No, they're like they're like beetles, but with like the Jupiter symbol and stuff. They like and they like devour your flesh. But how? It's kind of like scare. It's kind of like the scarabs thing. The scarabs weren't flesh eating <clears throat> beetles, but you know, the mummy. But Jupiter is a gas giant. <clears throat> Anyways, um, one one story which actually bred the whole entire of synopsis of the game Eternal Darkness. Um, rats in the walls. Read that story. It is Eternal Darkness, the book. <laughs> Some, it wasn't a lady. It was a guy who bought this mansion. He heard itchy scratchy noises inside his wall eventually went insane killed all his servants because he thought he they were messing with him you know logical choice there still heard the itching and scratching noises 
tore down his wall, wall found some weird creature, killed it, studied it, went mad, decided to dig up his basement, which led to an underground city, and the itching and scratching inside his walls with these creatures clawing their way up through the dirt into his walls, trying to get out to the surface world. In the ruins of Enga. Enga. So, yeah, the whole story of internal of eternal darkness is summed up in a like i think not even like a 10 page story go here go here there we go but basically if you examine the body you would just had a jump scare oh yeah that's another thing about um hp law they're very short stories mm-hmm in fact, you have the complete fiction in one book. Yeah. Fuck, I gotta read that sometime. Oh, it's really good. And I have... Uh, I figured, like, every video would be, like, 30 minutes. Because that's a, that's a good, like, skate point. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, like, really look into the, the legends and the lore past Cthulhu. I mean... Yeah, Cthulhu is cool. Cthulhu has some really great lore behind him, but he's not the focal point. Now we got the Venus King. In fact, Cthulhu is not even a god. Like, he's like, he's a lesser. It's like the Raiden effect. He's a lesser god that works with elder gods. Like, if you want to know, what if I recall, yeah, if you want to know what Cthulhu's position is, like, he's a general of an army. That's what he is. And pretty much, he's like, yo, I want to be a god. And the elder ones are like, no. Now we go back to this way. Though I will say this, his idea of putting himself to sleep for eons and eons until the proper moment. And then we got to talk to her to make one puzzle very easy. Is a little like... Yeah. Why? Like, why would you... We need that. Why would you do that? Why would you have yourself sleep for eons and wait for the proper moment and resurrect? Also, not just that. Come on. His, like... His, um, his cult followers know this and they boast about it. A lot. Cthulhu sleeps under the, you know, the sunken city of, uh... Relay. Of, of Relay, of Rala... It's Relay. The popular ver translation is Relay. Like, of Relay. There he sleeps in dreams, and we wait for the... Yada, yada, yada! Now, if the great old ones are trying to kill Cthulhu, which they are, and that's what the, um... The Shoggoths are for. They're, like, sent out to kill Cthulhu and his followers why not just go to Relay? Because they can't get to him because even though Cthulhu is in the city of Relay he's trapped behind behind an indestructible ebony vault. Yet that will only open when Relay touches the surface. Yet scholars and all that even in the, in the Cthulhu books have found Relay, got to Relay and peeked behind the door. It doesn't end well. But... They can't just send... I don't know, I guess Cthulhu is just waiting for the right time, I guess. They can't just send a Shoggoth down there and kill a sleeping ass? No, because fuck the Shoggoths. They're a worthless piece of garbage that can't do their job. The Elder Ones made them strictly for that purpose. Yeah, but they've broken away and they even formed their own religion. The Shog... Yeah. Some Shog... The more intelligent... Shoggoths did that. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a troublesome ordeal. <coughs> what we got to do is that we got to take the correct Mandragora. Well, Flandragora, or whatever they call it. Okay, Mandragora. they still call it Mandragora, even though it's made out of animal pieces. And now, while we're still in this shock state, we gotta get from point A to point B, but Danielle is gonna be chasing us. 
also like that one Castlevania game that if you run or jump with the nitroglycerin, you explode. Mm -hmm. No, it just drives you crazy. Just with this, if Daniel hits you, you die. No, you don't die. You go into a crazy state first. Or if your HP drops to a certain number. Trying to find me out. Ah. Fuck it! Yeah. <laughs> She's going to kill you. Heck, how many people know this? There's a six-legged polar bear with a horn. In Cthulian law, with saber tooth, um, tiger teeth. Not making this stuff up. Kind of hard to make this stuff. <laughs> God damn, it sounds like a Digimon. Shit, 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 shit. shit. I'm trying to do this so I don't fall over. Because if I fall over, I'm at my most vulnerable, and I'll die. Oh. Actually, yeah, it does. It sounds like a Kakumon. <laughs> I, think I, I think that's the one I'm talking about. Uh -huh. It's been a while. I mean, I got back into Digimon when I was playing, like, Cyber Sooth, which was, like, a few... Like, maybe... A, like, a year ago? Like, a year ago. But, um... Even I can't quote... Like Digimon, like all the now, Digimon by name. The Mantragora to the zombie? Homunculus? I'm oh. gonna go with Homunculus. I will say this though Shame, Digimon. Shame. Shame! Never using, using Dragomon. Shame. You built him up. He is Digimon Cthulhu. And you never used them. Okay, we're gonna end the video right quick, but before we do, I'm gonna show them why. Alright, we're safe here, no enemy can touch us here, but now we gotta put in commands of RRLs and stuff to move this golem. It's boring. We'll come back when this is over. Bye! Bye! This video sucked.